hope y'all can see me. I know y'all can hear me. But this is Hilary Tizze, K. Chris A. Fit YouTube channel. Ah, uh, snap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, tired, obviously, because I'm, I'm off work, but I'm doing this on my break. So, I just want to get to this real quick and just talk about some stuff I've been thinking about lately. So, the title of this video, as you can see it, um, I don't know what it is yet, because I haven't made it, but whatever it is, it's going to match with what I'm about to say. First thing I want to start off with is things that I've been thinking about and things that I've been going through lately. So y'all know back in the past when I started this YouTube stuff and the vlogs, I've really been trying to do, like I said, show people the true side of and true emotions of what people go through in life and my life story and I'm still going to do that um, I know I got the gaming channel I know it's fun and all it is uh, but you know I got to go back to like I said the talking about the reality of life side and you know because games it helps me you know like I say in a way like I said honestly in a way to escape you know like I said the reality of you know having a job having to worry about taxes having to worry about all that other stuff and you know the the evils of the world and stuff like that because you know you're enjoying yourself you're having fun and things I've been thinking about lately first of all is like all the things I've been I put myself through and what I mean by that is is drama uh, attention uh, pain and embarrassment bro like I've done so much stuff for people's attention it doesn't make sense and I wanna and I like and I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna start music too with the iMac once I get that computer once I think I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it at this next check I'm gonna get on this next check depending on how much it is if it's like 500 I'll pay for it I don't care yeah bro I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to start music and I think I'm gonna expose myself everything on there bro cause like I have nothing to hide bro I don't care anymore I don't I'm not worried about people's opinions bro I'm really not cause like I've and the reason why I'm saying this is because for so long, I've done things. Let's let's talk about something that I know individually for a fact that I've done things for, like things for people, is relationships. Not one time have I ever broken up with a girl in a relationship. Besides the last ex, and then I got back with her, and then she broke up with me. I'm not going to say it was mutual, because it wasn't. Um... No, I don't, I didn't, sorry my tone, I didn't mean to say like I had beef with her or nothing, like, it, it just wasn't, that's, she broke with me. Through all, all my relationships I've ever had since, even since, I don't know, if I'm, since seventh grade, it was always me, that was a problem, unless I thought it was. For most, for most girls I dated, it was like, I never knew the real reason why I wasn't the one. For them and or that would show me that it was a hood nigga they wanted or they wanted somebody who was less emotional i'm a very expressive person not scared to show my emotions because that's what a real man is it's not scared to do things that you want to do or not scared to be your own person and i'm an emotional person so i'm gonna show emotions um no not will be a bench all the time i said bench uh I'm not gonna be a B word all the time. No, I'm, like I'm not gonna cry about everything, but I'm an emotional person. So like, I'm gonna tell you how it is then and there, or I'm gonna tell you how I feel. And I'm not gonna hold on to stuff because that's just stupid in my opinion. And most men like to do that, like to just hold it all in, and they beating on their girlfriend or wife because they don't know how to express themselves, and they would always tough to suck it up. But that's another story. Like I said, for most girls, when I date them, it was always me as a problem. And it was always, you know, uh, I was weird or I was, like I said, I wasn't good enough. And for me, knowing it now, I was like, what you mean we're not good enough? Back then, it was like, damn, like, I, I need I need to put more hood. Like, I need to, like, I need something terrible to happen to me so, like, they'll get attention from me again. Like, I, I need to, I, like, get in a car crash or something. Like, seriously, this is how I thought. This is my thought process. And, and basically, and like I said, and I would try to think of situations that I could put myself in for people to start caring about me because I always felt alone 
like honestly elementary like kids like we're cool with everybody when we got to middle school I just it was just completely alone hated the feeling so I did things to fit in like most kids do but except I always stood out even when I fit in always stood out everybody knew my name in the school everybody not even saying that it's be cocky but everybody knew my name everybody knew my name Oh, that's a, that's a crackhead, because I, I was fast, and I was good at sports. And I was, I am. And it was weird. And I, like, and I, I do things, like I said, to make people laugh. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a funny person. I am a very humorous person. That's why people like me. That and the physical feature. The physical attributes of me. I'm a, I'm a good-looking dude. I can say that confidently. Now I can, at least. And another thing, too, is, is that like girls back then, they would, like while we were in relationships, some of them would be looking at the guys, and it was like, am I just not attractive or something? Am I just ugly? Or, and one of them I'm not gonna name, I got cheated on, figuring out after the relationship, and I was like, hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> so it's like, what's like, what's the deal with me? The reason why I say I put myself through a lot of pains because I kept going for the wrong people over and over again. And not even the wrong people. Just I kept going for people that weren't my type from the jump. But I wanted somebody to care for me, somebody to love me, somebody to... Like, I'm a very like touchy-feely person. I am. Like, I like showing my love through physical affection. I like giving you hugs. I like kissing you on the head. I like telling you, I like telling you you're making you feel good about yourself. Making you, like, telling you you're beautiful. And I guess, like, I guess... Most girls nowadays, I guess they don't like, I don't know if, I don't, I guess they don't like that. Now, I know there is girls who like that out there, but are we going to search for them? No. Because, I mean, honestly, really, at this point in my life, I figured out through dating, I've always been depressed. But through every relationship, I was depressed, bro. And I was like, why was I always depressed in a relationship? Because the energy they were giving me, bro, my body caught on to it. Before I actually could catch, like, before I could catch on to it, because it was like always something that made me depressed. Every time I get in a relationship, I just got extra sad for no reason. And really, I was telling me this person's not for me. I'm trying to give my all to this person, and they don't, they don't like it. It's not, it's not they don't like it. They don't want it. Cause I'm not the type that would hurt me so bad that I wasn't their type. That I didn't live up to their expectations. Because like I said, I wanted somebody to love me. Like, yes, like, my mom, like, she gave me love when we were young. She did. But as I got older, you know, love, like I said, it, having a group of five kids, it's hard to spread that love to one person individually. It is. I'm just saying, it's, it's hard to do. So, you know, and my dad, you know, it's not that he didn't love me. Like I said, he was at work all the time. And there were some, like I said, complications between, you know, my mom and dad. So I, 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 wanted, I wanted love from somebody. And so, I would, like I said, that's why I would do things, like I said, people to see attention, for people to see me. Even, like I said, sometimes through high school, like, I would just, I mean, don't get me wrong, I was jamming, like, I was doing me in high school, but I was jamming, but, like, there was, like, sometimes I would do stuff, like, for people just to see me in high school, just to get attention, dance in front of people. I mean, rap, I mean, I, I would actually enjoy my, I was in my own little world, but I would, do, I would do things through high school just to get attention, I did. And I'll admit that. <laughs> Middle school, I did. Like, just, just t because I never... I lost it, and once I like, I lost that attention I had as a kid because of growing up. It's like, damn, like you know, like where did that go? Like I, I missed that, and so I looked for it into into more females because, like I said, I, I lost like I already didn't like have a lot for my dad. So when I lost it for my mom, like I said, this is this is me realizing like what I was doing over time. <sighs> this is me now, <clears throat> and so I look for it in a female because. My mother, who is a woman, female, I lost that attention from her, so I was looking for any females. Somebody loved me, somebody, because like I said, I'm not going to get that from a dude. Like, I mean, if I, no, no, I'm, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I would just do the stupidest things, bro. Like, and it, and it, and it caused me heartbreak. It caused problems with people around me. It, it caused really drama. And I'm just like, now it's just like, I'm done with that, dog. Like, not on a, like, no, like, not on a, like, no, hurtful stuff, like, you know, like, it's just like, no, like, seriously, like, it's just, some people just don't need to be in a relationship. Some people just don't need to have kids. You know, this generation, it's like, this generation we're in right now, that's an example of that. Because the way these parents are treating these kids, dog, it's like, why did you even have him? Why did you put him through that? 
Why did you give birth to a child just to put them on this earth just to struggle? With all the mental issues I have, bro, I don't think I would have put that on a child. Not that I have a choice, because I don't... Like I said, I only attract people with my physical attributes and my humorous humor, but... Besides that, if people got to see the real me, the real like me, they'd be like, oh, like, uh, you're not really my type. Like, I mean, I'm so used to that now, bro. It's like, you know what? Who cares if I'm not your type? And who said that it's important that I am? You know what I'm saying? And I had to, I had to learn that. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm still going through it. I still have those thoughts that brought me back down in those depressive states in my head right now because they've been hindering around so long. It's like it's like a cycle that it does every year. And it's like I thought I was over this. But you see, I keep putting myself in situations to bring those depressive states back. It was hurtful, man. And so, I, like I said, people who people who are people pleasers or people who want attention or seeking attention, stop doing it because you're just hurting yourself more. Guys, like, who working out for girls, like looking good for girls, stop doing it. You're hurting yourself. Because when the girl actually gets to see you, like the real you, they're going to be like, what the heck? Like, I'd rather just have the body. Like, that's, like seriously, like, that's why, like, I, I mean, honestly, I, I stopped posting, like, myself, like, on Snapchat, like, I mean, don't be like, I, I love, I love my body, I love, I have, a, I have a good physical, athletic body, I just stopped doing it, I mean, not, not that, like, there's a female looking for me anyway, but, like, I used to do it for that attention, so I'm, like, doing it now, it's like, well, I'm not looking for that attention anymore, it's what I need to do it for. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm going to do it for myself. Like, I'm, I'm going to do it every now and then. Like, you know, like, body goals, like, you know, from progress and stuff like that. But I really need to, like, focus on myself. Like, dang, like, you know, a lot of things I did was for attention, dog. Because I didn't have it at the house. Or I lost it. And, like I said, it, it, cost, it cost me everything and people around me. Even recently. Really, most of my life, like... It's been like kind of like a joke to most people, but it doesn't matter what other people think. But if I really, like I said, when I'm explaining this all in my music when I post it, but everything that I've been through in my life, if I really told y'all, like people would laugh, like, wow, this dude really went through it. <laughs> not that like there's not people going through it worse than I am, but like it's just like there's tough in relationships I went through, stuff I went through like in my childhood with, with sports and how I lost the love for it and how I lost a lot of things. I just. It was just like a continuous heartbreak. And there's people who've been through worse than I am. Don't get me wrong. But I was on a separate path of heartbreaks. And it and it made me stronger now. And like I said, I am, I am still suffering from it, bro. Because now, like, like, my heart is cold. I'm not gonna lie. It's cold now. I don't like even thinking about, honestly, being in a relationship. Because of how many times the outcome has caused for me. And so, and what another thing I realized too is like, I was always happier single. And not just, not even single, just individually, like to myself. Like when I made myself happy, I always could do that. But when I tried to bring another person to the equation, it's like I give everything to them and I never get the same energy back. I've never gotten the same energy back from any other person besides one person I can name, and I'm not gonna name them. Well, one person I, one person I can think of, I'm not gonna name them. I know this video is long. This has been on my mental for a little bit. So I just want y'all to know, man, like, don't do things for attention, man. Because it really causes heartbreak. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Like, honestly, you will be living for people for the rest of your life. And when you go into the grave, you'll be living in their memories, not yours. And I'm going to post a, I'm a, if I find the video, I'm going to post a link. But it's about becoming, like, like, literally being your inner self, your inner weird self. That you don't like to show because you're too busy focusing on people on social media what they think of you or your friends and your friends really not even meant to be your friends so on that note I'm gonna go back to work cause it's been 60 minutes it's supposed to be a 15 minute break but I will catch y'all in the next video tomorrow I'm definitely gonna be streaming again on Apex uh, or Call of Duty one of those two y'all put in the comments below which one y'all wanna see and I'll have it down for you but like I said I was always saying man I appreciate y'all for watching the video I'm gonna be posting more of these and like I said, I'm making music too, so y'all watch out for that. But as I always say, I wish not, I wish not. <laughs> he look good. Wish out.